Welcome to our first training session. This is gonna be a tractor rundown for a 4066R with a Norman Hybrid inverted snowblower. Very popular setup. I have several of them, love them, and uh, they're really a great starting machine. So that's why I wanted to run through this training first. So getting into it, it's a very simple machine to drive. You have three ranges, which are, think of them as gears. They're not actually gears, but they're essentially your speeds. So you've got C is your fastest. That's gonna allow you to drive the quickest on the road. B is kind of in the middle. And then A is very slow. You're never gonna use A. Um, with these machines, most of the time you can stay in C range, almost always actually. There'll just be on occasion, you get a large mountain from the uh, city plow. And in that case, you might wanna throw it into B because you'll, you'll feel it, it'll, uh, it'll be squealing a little bit. But anyways, very simple, pretty much always leave it in C and uh, go from there. On the left side, you have your brake here. You're rarely gonna touch your brake, um, only essentially in emergency situations where you gotta stop very quickly because your pedals here, you have your forward and reverse. And as soon as you let off the pedal, the machine's gonna start to slow down automatically. So it's called a hydrostatic transmission. And that means it's driven with hydraulic oil and pumps. And so, yeah, as soon as you let off this pedal, you're gonna quickly notice it's slowing down. And so there's really no need to touch the brake unless you have to stop on a dime. Um, up here on the column, we have our fuel gauge, our RPM, and our temperature. And on the left, we have uh, four wheel drive control. So this machine has snow tires on it. A lot of the time you're actually not gonna need four wheel drive. When you do, uh, fine to use it. You just have to make sure you're not running it on the road if it's dry pavement. That is very bad. Uh, you'll just, you'll wreck stuff. I, I don't even know the mechanics of it, but it, it's just bad. So make sure you're in two wheel drive if you are driving on a dry surface. If there's a bunch of snow on the road, it's fine, but uh, just be aware of that. You also have your windshield wiper controls here with washer fluid if you press this little button, two speeds there. On the right side of the wheel, you have your throttle. So uh, we'll get a little bit more into that later, but that is going to control your RPM uh, for, well, everything, uh, the snowblower, um, all of that, it's your engine speed. On the other side of the column here, we have our lights. With these units, you're basically gonna turn on the lights all the time. Flip this all the way over, four ways on, and one more light is the uh, beacon light right here. So we always run with all the lights on pretty much all the time. You also have your turn signals here, uh, some computer settings here. And these two buttons are for your um, emissions regen. I never touch them. With this thing, when it comes to emissions, very simple, you don't have to worry about anything. There's no def fluid or anything like that. You just wanna make sure if you get a white light on your dash, uh, it's very distinctive, you, you, won't, uh, you won't not notice it. But if you get that white light, just don't turn off the machine while it's doing its thing. Let it regen and just drive as normal. And uh, I've, I've never had a single problem with these ones for that, so you don't have to worry about it. Now getting down to our right side here where most of your controls are. First thing here, this is the uh, loader control. We don't have loaders on these tractors, obviously, so you never have to worry about that. Uh, we, we modified it a little bit, just took off the big handle because it got in the way. Um, so don't worry about this, you're never gonna use it. Next is your three-point hitch uh, lift. And we've also modified this lever a bit. The ones that John Deere gives you are kind of garbage. So we made a bit of a modif modification to it. But anyways, when you pull this up, your snowblower is gonna lift up. When you drop this down, your snowblower is gonna drop, very simple. To the right of that, you have this first lever is going to be your chute rotation. So when you pull it, the chute's gonna go one way, it's gonna turn, the other way it's gonna turn. And then this is your uh, deflector up and down. So when you pull this back, your snowblower uh, chute is gonna go up. And when you push it down, it's gonna go down and angle the snow toward the ground. 
Here, very important control is the PTO on off. So one thing you wanna keep in mind with the PTO is you never wanna engage a PTO when you're full throttle. That's just hard on things. It is electronically um, engaged, so you don't have to worry about, you're not gonna destroy it if you do that, but it's, it's overall, it's not super healthy for the machine. So you wanna make sure at a lower RPM. I would say anything below about 2000 RPM is fine. Um, any, yeah, anything between idle and 2000 is fine to engage it and same thing for disengaging. So you wanna turn it on at a low throttle, rev your machine up, do your work, idle it back down, turn off the PTO. To the right of the PTO here, we have a couple settings. You have your cruise control settings, which you're never gonna use when you're doing snow, so forget about those. And then you have three buttons here. Um, this first one is, it's called your uh, auto throttle. And so what that means is when you're on the road, if you have this button engaged, when you press your, your, your gas pedal, it's gonna rev up the engine just like it would a car. And so it's really nice on the road, you come up to a stoplight and you're at idle, and then you take off and you're revving up as you go. Saves fuel, it's quieter, easier on the machine, it's great, we run it. And just so you know, it also won't interfere with your standard throttle. So you can have this button on, and then still, if you were to throw it in, in full throttle, it's gonna still rev up as per usual. So I run with that button on all the time, and when I'm on the road, just leave it at idle, and it's gonna rev up for you. This is a, um, it's like a, I'm trying to think of how you explain it. It just helps it from stalling. You can run it or not. You'll notice uh, when you run it, it's, um, it just plays with the tractor throttle a little bit and if it feels like it's bogging, it's gonna help you out. Um, some guys run it, some guys don't, so really preference on that. Here, this dial is your rollout speed. So the looser or the longer you make this, essentially that just means when you let off the pedal, the slower it's gonna be to stop. And when you tighten this all the way, it's gonna be super snappy. So I like to run it quite tight, uh, one or two or all the way even. And so when you're just going constantly forward to reverse, it's, it's nice because in front of a garage door, you wanna be your one pedal to the next all the time. So keep that nice and tight. This here, something hydraulic, I don't even know what it is, don't worry about it. Beacon light as I showed you, rear wiper. Uh, these are your rear lights when you have the front lights on, forgot to mention that. Uh, so just leave those on. And that is essentially it for your controls on this side. Very simple machine. A um, Couple other things to keep in mind, I don't know if I mentioned your parking brake. Uh, use that if you're parking on a slope, anything like that. Uh, you've got your radio here with Bluetooth. Uh, there's a factory one. This one is aftermarket. Some of ours are factory, whatever. Won't get into that. Um, you have all your vents up here and you have your climate control, air conditioning and heat up along here. Obviously your visor, you're never gonna use that. And that's essentially it. We've added this tablet mount for our Flowsoft program. That's uh, an aftermarket edition as well. You have your window open right here. And uh, your seat, your air ride seat adjustment is down here. One last thing, your, uh, your diff lock. So if you're spinning like crazy and you wanna try and get out of a tight spot, you can just kind of stomp this down and uh, that's gonna keep your wheel spinning together. But other than that, uh, quite simple machines. So we'll move into the next segment and uh, we'll catch you there. So I guess this is a couple of partial or crucial areas to look for when you're doing your maintenance on your blowers. This here's the rubber shoe, and that's to protect your uh, laneways from the metal piece here from scraping it up. And then on the back here, we have our nice plastic cutting edge, and that's when you're dragging your snow. It also keeps your uh, laneway from getting scratched because it's getting held up by a piece of metal here. So that's just to protect your your driveway from getting scrapes and gouges in it. And uh, you have to keep an eye on both of these. You have your adjustment here, and you can drop the shoe. There's, we've made little uh, strips in there that we can drop the rubber down so that once it gets worn to a certain point, we can bring it down, and that way we keep the rubber itself good. And then on the back here, this this white piece, once it gets to about a half an inch there thick, we, drop, we take this off and we put a whole brand new piece along the bottom and that's to keep your laneway looking 
as good as new. All right, so some likely uh, things that are happening while you're on the road is some maintenance here. There's a, a shear bolt right at your power takeoff, and then there's two shear bolts right in this area here that uh, power the chain and your auger to your blower. And uh, sometimes if you get uh, into some heavy snow or just bad bolt, they'll break and you'll have to stop the machine and you'll have to get out and switch them. Okay, so this is, we're gonna show you how to open up the back of the hatch here. If you're ever clogged up, you take out your safety pins. And then all these unlatch. That just opens up. Okay, so for, I would say 60% of your plug ups are gonna end up just being heavy wet snow right in this top area here. We have this little shovel there and we usually just scoop out as much as we can from the top and then we take it and we try and push the rest of it down into this area here where it's a lot easier. You can get your shovel in there, you can bring it down to the bottom, scoop it right out. And then uh, once that's all cleared, you just uh, take this, you close her back up again. And then I would jump in the tractor and then try to see if you're unplugged and you can continue with your snow blowing. All right, so once you get done from your snow storms, you wanna bring in a blower to your shop or wherever and then uh, let it dry off. It snows off, then you wanna continue with your preventative maintenance here. You have your grease nipples here and one here and that's uh, the same on the other side. That's for your main bearing that drives your auger want to keep that nice and lubricated. And then you have your two here on the hood. Just a simple little one or two shots of grease just to make sure it doesn't bind rust up. And then on your tractor here actually, you have uh, two very important pieces that are on your, so it's the PTO knuckles. And that's just to keep them lubricated because they're always spinning, they're always at a different angle. If you don't let them get the lube they need, then they can uh, bind up or you're just gonna have wear and tear and you'll have to replace them all that much sooner. And then uh, you've got another piece just right in at this black box there. There's just one in there, just needs one or two shots of your everyday grease and that's basically your uh, maintenance for the blowers. All right, just showing you how to start up your tractor here before you get going on the road. Turn your key just to the auxiliary there so you hear your beep there. Wait for your lights to go out, like so, and you're good to turn the key to start it. You wanna rev her up slightly just to get, get things going, get things warmed up. And you wanna make sure your parking brake is off as well. Lifting the blower. You got your controls to move your chute left and right, deflector up and down. Driving forward. Back. Make sure all your lights are on. Four ways are on. Your beacon light is on and spinning. Back light is on so your blower is illuminated. Blower's down. 